All right, so welcome to phase one. Now, before you go into the training that is specific to this phase, I've got some important training for you. This is like a preliminary piece of training to give you some insights and some awareness around the reality of actually getting results and what will happen during this process, okay? Because this is what will happen to everyone at some point during the course of this program. And I want you to be aware and prepared for when it does happen, all right? So we're gonna take a little bit of time talking about the nature of growth and results and how that actually happens. We're gonna talk about the canyon of chaos, which you will experience at some point. We're gonna talk about um, archetypes and your kind of storytelling narrative, all right? And I'm gonna do some drawing up on here for you and I'll explain all of this as we go. So let's get a whiteboard up. Screen share. So right now, you want to go from your problems to your possibilities. We spoke about this before, okay? You started here with your problems, and you want to get up to here with your possibilities yeah so this is what we said now we gave you a set of steps and we said we're going to navigate the continuum this is what we're going to do we're going to go from chaos clarity to creation and as we move through those steps you will get closer and closer to those possibilities of your future so we all understand that it's a simple principle of going from problems to possibilities going from a to b this is what you're here for this is what you want this is what you're working on now the reality of this results don't come in a linear fashion all right what we like to think is that results will happen like this, okay? So we have time over here and we have progress down here. So theoretically, the longer we spend on something, the more progress we're gonna get. And we think it's gonna be linear. We're just gonna get better and better and better. In some instances, that can happen. In other instances, you can notice a different approach, what we call an exponential growth, where you start off fairly flat and then you suddenly get very good very quickly. So if you think of anything that you have undertaken, be that sport, a hobby, a skill that you've learned, you probably will have noticed one of these two fashions, so linear or exponential growth, okay? But as I said earlier, these two things are not quite as simple as this because regardless of whether you see linear growth or exponential growth, you will have what we call peaks and troughs along the way. So the actual progress will look like this. Forward trend is still there, which is great because you're still progressing, but you will have times where things dip, okay? Things are gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down, peaks and troughs all the way. That is the nature of growth. That is the nature of results. Regardless of what you do, you're going to experience ups, you're going to experience downs. So what we want to do is be aware of what happens. So if we take one of these little peaks here, uh, sorry, one of these little troughs here, and we look at this in detail, we can call this the canyon of chaos. So you're going along quite nicely, you're making progress, and then things go wrong for whatever reason, all right? Life, life, you, um, anything can happen, all right? Life's difficult, shit happens all the time, so we have to be prepared for it. So we hit one of these troughs, we've fallen down, we've ended up in the canyon of chaos, all right, the COC, and we're down here, we're starting to struggle, all right, we're getting stuck, and that's inevitable, it's going to happen to you, it might be early on, it might be later down the line, it doesn't matter when, it's going to happen, I can 100% guarantee that to you, that that is what's going to happen, and it's important that you are aware that this will happen, because if you're not expecting it, it can be quite shocking, and what happens for most people, because they expect their results to just be like this, or like this, when this happens, and they fall into the canyon, they quit, because when you're in here, chaos takes over, your stories that you tell yourself and you tell the world, your patterns, your habits, all that stuff that you're going to learn more about over the coming weeks, beliefs, all of these things rear their head. They come up and they feel even more profound because you're in this kind of chaos. So your stories feel more real, your patterns are more pronounced, your beliefs are kicking in, trying to get you to change, trying to get you to go back, trying to get you to quit to get out of this space. Because this space down here, this is uncomfortable. It sucks to be in a canyon of chaos. But the nature of progress dictates that you have to get uncomfortable. The only way that you're going to get to this next peak up here is to navigate this trough here, to navigate the canyon of chaos. So you have two options with this. You can either stay in it, stay stuck, give into all of this, or you can accept it, have awareness around it, and then do the work to climb back out. All right. It's easier sometimes, as much as it sucks, to stay here. That's what most people do in their lives. They end up in one of these canyons of chaos and they get stuck and they stay stuck for years and years and years on end. Because you've started this journey, you've started this work, you also have the option to go back, to leave it, get out. But we don't want that. We want you to go forwards. All right. We want you to get out of the canyon of chaos. And the only way you're going to do that is to have awareness. All right. We need you to have awareness. Part of getting results is taking action. Okay. You need to take action. Now, the things that are driving your actions are going to be your environment. So the people around you, the physical environment around you, your work environment, all those different things, everything that's external to you, but that affects you. Your thoughts. And your feelings okay all of these things are driving your actions and when you get stuck in that canyon of chaos all of these things become really really important even more important than normal because they're gonna be heightened and what we can do is make a choice to pick one of these and change it because if we start to change one of these things it allows us to start to climb out of the canyon 
Okay, and which one you change is going to be dependent on the type of stories you tell yourselves and the type of architect that you are when things go wrong, your kind of archetypal personality. All right, and we're going to go into that into a little bit more detail now. So I want you to understand this, that actions are what allow you to go from problems to possibility. You have to take action. If you don't do anything, you just keep taking in information, you're going to stay with the problems. You'll be more aware of them and you'll understand potential solutions. But you're not actually going to move towards the possibilities because you just stop there. Actions are what count. Actions are driven by emotions, uh, sorry, environment, thoughts, feelings, which is obviously your emotions. And those things are going to be really important when you fall into the inevitable canyon of chaos at some point during this journey or at multiple points, because let's be honest, it's not going to be easy. I've been upfront with you about that from the beginning. Life is not easy. This process is not easy. But you are learning and arming yourself with the tools and the skills to effectively navigate this and get yourself out. So let's talk about this then. Right. So we said that when you fall into this pit, you're going to start to tell yourself stories, okay? Your beliefs, your stories, your habits, your patterns, they're all going to come out. And these tend to fall into three different categories, okay? You'll notice that one of these is you. So number one is the daydreamer. Number two is the settler. And number three is the need to know, okay? So things have gotten tough. You've fallen into the canyon and you're going to start to tell stories. You're either going to be daydreaming about the future. So you're going to be starting to think about well, you know, in the future, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And if I wait for this and I wait for that, then it's all going to be wonderful. And it's all going to work out. Now, we talk about future pacing in the program. I get you to, to think about that future you want to craft for yourself and actually visualize it. But then the key part is going out and taking action on it. The daydreamer, they're the person that doesn't take the action. OK, they're the person that just starts to think about this wonderful future that's there and they want it. And, they, you know, they, they, they really want this thing, but they don't do any work. They just stay stuck in the daydream. The settler, the person who starts to go, oh, maybe it's not so bad. You know, life's all right. I've got this. I've got that. I should be grateful. There's a lot of shame nowadays around wanting more out of your life. There is nothing shameful about wanting more, about wanting to be better, about wanting to do better, about wanting to have better. Don't let people shame you into thinking that. If you settle, you settle and you stay stuck. So maybe you're someone that starts to go, well, at least, you know, I've got a roof over my head. You know, I've got people that care about me. Things could be worse. It's quite a common story for most people. And I think that's a result of society conditioning us to, to believe that we should settle and be grateful for what we have. Yeah, we want to be grateful. But we also want more. No, no shame in that. And then the third person is the person who needs to know everything. You know, in order for me to take actions and move forwards, I have to know ABC. I have to have all of my boxes ticked before I can do anything. They're almost the master procrastinator. They need to know everything. There'll be a wealth of knowledge. They'll be full of insights, but they won't ever get anywhere because they become obsessed with needing to know everything. So when you start to struggle and you fall into the canyon of chaos and your progress stalls, be aware of which one of these you are channeling. Are you daydreaming? Are you settling? Or are you becoming the need to know, the information gatherer? Because in knowing this, you become able to challenge those stories. You actually have a protocol in the, um, in the protocol toolbox to help you smash these stories, all right? So you can actually go in and challenge yourself on these thoughts and on these stories that you are telling yourself. Um, you may find that, at different times you fall into a different one and that's okay you know you're probably one of these various points the first time you fall in the pit you might be someone who settles and goes oh it's not so bad I'll just stay here maybe next time down the line you become a daydreamer and that's okay just be aware that you're likely to fall into one of these categories at one point or another and in understanding which one you are you become able to challenge that story and see it for what it is it's just a story that you are telling to keep yourself safe because being in that canyon of chaos as much as it sucks it's safe it's easier to stay there than it is to push on, take actions, challenge your preconceived notions about the world and yourself, challenge your worldview, challenge your self-view and actually move forwards. Sometimes we become very comfortable in our own misery and it's difficult to get out of that, even though we know on the other side there's better things for us. You know, there is comfort in misery and we don't want that. We want to be able to challenge that. So that's the, the initial thing. Then you'll also notice that you become a certain type of person. We call this an archetype, a personality archetype. So as well as telling these stories, you'll start to take action and have more thoughts and more feelings around certain things. So the first one is the magpie. The second one is Captain Perfection. I'm gonna put CP, save me right now out. And the third one is the Shameful Victim, SV. So if you are a magpie, you're someone that likes the shiny objects. You'll often hear people talk about shiny object syndrome. Oh, well, all right, this isn't working. I'm stuck, progress is stalled. I'm gonna go try that instead. It's a person that jumps from fad diet to fad diet or workout to workout because they're looking for something new and something novel and shiny because they think that's going to get them results instead of carrying on the same path that they've been on. All right. So maybe that's you. The second one, Captain Perfection. This lines up with the person who needs to know everything and have all their boxes uh, checked. It's the person that has to do things perfectly in order to move forwards. Like they never finish a task because it's never good enough. And if you can never move forward, then of course you're going to stay stuck in the canyon. So noticing when we have patterns of perfectionism and how they're keeping us stuck. Will help you massively 
And of course, the third one is a shameful victim. That idea that everything is your fault. It's your fault. You don't deserve to move forward. You deserve to stay stuck. And inside of that, we also often transform into the blaming victim, the person that likes to then blame other people. It's this person's fault that I'm stuck. It's that person's fault that I'm stuck. It's this person who I met 20 years ago that did this thing to me and that's why I am the way I am. Yeah, maybe. But clinging on to that and having that become your archetype of who you are in that moment is not going to help you move forward. And what you should notice is these archetypes and the storytellers, they tend to merge together. More often than not, the person who is channeling the magpie archetype tends to be the daydreamer tend to be daydreaming in their stories. The person who is being Captain Perfect tends to be the need to know. The person who's often a victim, who's blaming and pointing fingers at everyone, including themselves, tends to be the person that settles. So it's really, really important that you understand that when you are struggling, when you are down here in the canyon of chaos, when the shit's hit the fan, you've fallen down, things are not working, it's not going well, it's important that you know which archetype you are channeling. And like I said with the stories, that may change. I know at various points I've either been Captain Shiny Object here or Perfectionist. That tends to be what I fall into. But you may find you fall into a different one. And that's okay. There's no wrong. There's no right. There's no, you know, this one's better than that one. That's not how this works. It's all about awareness. So you need to be aware of which one of these you are channeling and which of the three stories, the daydreamer, the settler, or the need to know. Need to know. So excuse my uh, writing. It's a good job I'm not channeling the perfectionist. Otherwise, you'd never get these training videos up because the pen does not work well. Um, so in channeling these and understanding who you're being and what stories you're telling, we then put ourselves in a position where we can actually change it. So let's just clear this off for you. Hopefully this is making sense so far. So when we have awareness around this and we understand that, okay, I'm being this type of architect personality type and I'm telling this story, we can actually, actually start to challenge that. We can look at the narratives, we can look at who we're being, what we're doing, what actions we're taking. And then we can challenge those actions by trying to change our thoughts, our feelings and our environment to actually get us moving out of the canyon of chaos. Which, when you hit that chaos, you have to notice these things. You have to notice the stories you're telling. You have to notice who you are being in terms of your personality archetype. Because when you are scared, when you're uncomfortable, these narratives will come out. These patterns, these beliefs, they'll come out. It happens time and time again. But every time you go into one of these canyons, as you get better and better and better, you'll notice them more and you'll be better equipped to deal with them. So noticing, being aware, and then actively seeking to change it is what we're looking for. This is about building that awareness to a point where you know what archetype, uh, archetype you're stepping into, you know what stories you're telling, and you can go on and challenge that. You can challenge your thoughts, you can challenge your feelings, you can challenge your environment, and you can seek to change it. Because by taking one of those pieces, thoughts, feelings, environment, you can work your way out of the canyon. That's what this is all about. So to summarize, you are here because you have your problems and you want to move away from them towards possibilities. In doing that, you're gonna have to take action. Your actions will be driven by your thoughts, your feelings, and your environment. Progress is very rarely linear. There will always be peaks and troughs. As you hit one of those troughs, we fall into the canyon of chaos. The canyon of chaos is where you will become stuck unless you seek to create a change. When you're stuck in that place, your stories, your thoughts, your patterns, your beliefs will come out and you will step into one of the three archetypes. You will either become Captain Perfection, who cannot take action until things are perfect. You'll become the magpie who jumps from one shiny thing to the next, seeking some magic pill. Or you become the shameful victim who likes to blame themselves and everyone around them. You'll be telling stories. You'll either be daydreaming about the future, but refusing to take action towards it. You will be settling and telling yourself that things are not so bad. Or you'll be the person that needs to know everything in order to take action. So noticing and becoming aware of which one you are being, what story you are telling, gives you the opportunity to challenge it and to change it. And in doing that, we then work our way out of the canyon and we continue with our progress. So I hope this makes sense because this is really, really important. And I want you to understand this, because if you understand this and you have awareness of it, then you'll be able to continually make progress instead of staying stuck or worse, quitting. So any questions on this, you let me know, um, but hopefully this makes sense to you and you will notice this as you go through your journey. So